I'm basically showing you how to bait up our trace that we've been using for catching the lanterns, um, the rubber lips that have come through in the last couple of weeks, that's been May. I've uh, shown on the previous link, you can see how I actually made the trace for catching all the lanterns and that. So now I'm going to show you how to do the baiting up of that particular trace. Um, very important, lovely Ed Can Chocker, clean white, lovely. Um, Victoria Knox, very sharp knife, it works extremely well, available here at Kingfisher. Stainless steel chocker hammer, very important that you note that it's got a rough side and a very thin side. And I'll explain to you while I'm doing the baiting up why I use that particular chocker hammer. Kingfisher latex cotton, I'm using the thin one um, more because I don't need a lot of um, cotton as far as the bait's going to be very soft. So I need something that is very thin invisible in the water, um, not too crunchy or uh, how can I say sticky in a fish's mouth. Okay, uh, They do come in a thick, a medium as well, but the thin is the one that I'm going to be using the most of for this bait demonstration. Okay, This here is our lantern trace that I've been uh, using for catching all the lanterns, the rock card, the um, eel tail barbels that we've been catching as well as all the rubber lips that have been coming out very very good trace glow in the dark very important and that part there is most probably the big secret to this whole thing okay to bait up very simple take a chocker you can either use one thick chocker and one thin chocker or you can get a medium like I've got over here Step one, just cut it down the middle. That's the easiest way of doing it. We're going to clean it, run the knife along the top, and just take off all the, the skin. That's all I'm doing. I want the white flesh. Okay, so I've split it along the top. where you find this hard spiny see-through I don't know what they would call that, it's like a plastic that you get in it and I'll explain to you now why I do that just take it all apart, open them up properly this one is still quite frozen take the sheath off here, yeah, this part of it Okay, take that out. Step two, exactly the same thing. Go. Flip it up. Take that sheet out. Skin off. And again, it's very easy to take it off. It's not that difficult to take the skin off. Okay. So very simply, what I've ended up with is a very thick piece of flesh and something that is a lot thinner. That's what I'm trying to achieve. This is soft and supple. This is hard and fleshy. Okay, just clean it up a bit. Take that away. Okay. So the thick part, I'm just going to take a piece. That big. Okay. I'm going to cut it again in half, but not quite yet. 
I'm going to take this one, which is the long part, and that thin part where that sheath was is the part that I want the most. That's going to give me the most movement. That there, to me, is most, probably the most important part of that chocker. I'm just going to cut a couple more. I'm going to cut them nice and thin. I'm cut from this side as well. Okay, that's more than enough chocker for the bait demonstration that I'm doing. Okay, you can see it's quite thick here, it's thin there, nice and thin, a bit thick over here, so I'll put that one next to there. And those two are perfect. Okay, chocker hammer. <clears throat> this is the fleshy side. This is the side that actually had all the um, skin on it. What I'm going to do is hit it with the thick part of the chocker hammer. I'm going to break that skin up, that hard part of that skin up. So what it's done now is created a whole lot of holes now. Now I want to soften it up. So to soften it up, I'm going to be using the very um, small side of this chocker hammer. And I'm going to lightly tap it, but as I do it, I'm just moving it away like that. I'm just moving it away. Okay. Cut it in half. Okay. Step one is to take, and this is the small hook, and you literally just put it on and slide it over. You can feel it's nice, it's soft, it's very, very, the only way to call it is snotty. Take our thin latex cotton, and that's why I like to use it. You just start to bind it up, and you can actually model it or maneuver it in such a way that it forms the shape that you want to get. And the shape you want is a soft triangular shape. Thicker on top, thinner at the bottom. And that's pretty much what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. That's the shape that I'm trying to get. I'm not covering the, the point of the hook by any means. It's very soft, supple. So that part of it there, when it goes over the fish's jaw bone area, it just moves like it. It's very soft. Okay. And when we turn off the lights, you'll see how that part there glows through the actual chocker. And that's important. That little bit there glows through the actual chocker. Do the next hook. This is the bigger hook. Just roll it around nicely. Shape it the way you want it to be. Take the thin latex cotton again. And just lightly latex it around. Roll it, roll it. And that's pretty much done. Okay. So there's the two baits. Okay, now we're going to add the tentacles to it. It's very simple. The two very thin ones. We're going to go onto the small hook, which in this one was the uh, 4 o tuna circle. And the reason we use the silver hook, white bait, silver goes good together. Take it through, like that, and then back through again for the second time. Okay, take the second part of that same bait. We do exactly the same thing. We'll go through. 
like that and then through again and when I go through the second time what I do is I just give a little bit of space you can see there's a little bit of a, a u-shaped space there okay so if you look at it from that angle <coughs> excuse me you'll see it goes up and around over the hook again so that <coughs> sorry excuse me that gives you a lot of movement um, the fish the little peckers and that can come and bite on it and of course when the lantern comes he's got a huge mouth rock coat they just inhale the whole thing it's soft it's supple a lot of smell coming off of that part of it a lot of flavor for the small fish to come and uh, feed along this is very hard the big hook again because this is the bottom hook again it's the thicker part that goes through I use a thicker piece on this side like that that small little thin part here the little black tail can come and eat and enjoy it go through again and then once again go through okay let's just get this place sorted out that'll be the bottom hook that's a top hook come on <clears throat> okay so there's the two baits top hook bottom hook for catching lanterns now what happens is it'll lie on the ground there's your sinker so let me just hold this one that little float will float it up and this will be moving around like this in the water the rock or the lantern going to come around have a look at it inhale the whole thing it's quick it's easy the eel tail barbel can get it it's kept very low to the bottom so that these fish can come in and just suck it up from the top okay so any fish that comes along that's sitting like that and then they'll come along and just inhale it and i tell you what all you feel is your sinker moving either coming towards you or bouncing as it goes away from you and you've really got the fish you don't have to hit just start winding and you've got the fish the nice part is if the if the rock card or the lantern or I don't know whatever speckle or cob or whatever it is is holding on to it and they don't have the hook in their mouth because you're just tightening it up onto the fish you don't scare it it'll shoot off turn around come back and see what's going on and 30 seconds later that same fish will eat this bait if you hit you actually scare that fish you spook him away with this trace it doesn't do that at all you just lightly tighten up and like I said the most important thing about this trace is you throw it out and you wind it until you can actually feel the rock when you feel the rock you stop and this will be moving around that whole rocky area and that's basically what's happening that's it there guys there's the entire trace done and baited and this is my lantern trace that I've been using with great success in the last couple of uh, weeks and it's not long it's not a big trace there we go so it's very easy to throw wind resistance is next to nothing yeah that's it go out there catch yourself a couple of lanterns rock hard and that's it guys very simple